I'm Anil Kumar and here is a challenge question on exponents. The question is rewrite in base 2 and simplify. So let me rewrite the whole thing first. We have 4 to the power of 3n plus 1 times 2 to the power of n minus 1 and we are dividing that by 16 to the power of n plus 1. We need to write them as base 2. Now, what is 4? 4 is 2 square, right? So we can write this expression as 2 square to the power of 3n plus 1. And 2 is okay for us. We need 2 as the base divided by 16 is 2 to the power of 4, right? 2 to the power of 4 is 16 to the power of n plus 1. Now we can, we have the same base, we can apply the laws of exponent, that is when you multiply you add them up, when you divide you subtract. So let's first use the power rule, which is 2 squared over 3n plus 1. So 2 gets multiplied, so get 2 times 3n is 6n plus 2, right? In this case it is 2 to the power of n minus 1, divide by 2 to the power of 4n plus 4. Now, let's apply this is product and that is quotient. So we'll add these exponents. So we'll get 2 to the power of 6n plus 2. Add them up, n minus 1. Subtract these, minus 4n, minus 4, correct? So what do you get? We get 2 to the power of, about the n, 6n plus n is 7. 7 minus 4 is 3. So we get 3n. And as far as the numbers are concerned, 2 minus 1 is 1 and 1 minus 4 is minus 3. So we get 2 to the power of 3n minus 3. So that is how we can simplify and write it, correct? As rewrite in base 2 and simplify. So that could be a good option. You could also, actually this is okay, but you can make q, n minus 1 whole q, but that's fine. Right, so, so that is simpler form. What I'm trying to say is you could write this as 2 to the power of 2 cube, right, times n minus 1, so it could be n minus 1 whole cube, right? But still, I feel this is the lowest term. So that could be your answer, right? There is no need to go to these two steps. But I hope you understand and appreciate how to rewrite 4 and 16 as base 2 and then work from there onwards. Thank you.